Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome once again to Kingfisher's YouTube channel. Don't forget to like the video, press the subscribe button and bell icon for notifications of new and upcoming videos. Today I'm going to be talking about bass fishing, weightless, okay, in particular flukes. Um, <clears throat> what we require for it is going to be a pair of scissors, siglon, okay, this is not a fluorocarbon line, it's just our standard siglon nylon. I've got a range of hooks, um, the megabyte range, ultra lock. And of course the grip pin. Okay, let's go through it. That's the grip pin. That's the ultra lock. And that is just the megabyte red. The reason we use a wide range of hooks, they have got different features. For instance, the grip pin is a way heavier hook and a lot stronger. So when you want your fluke to go down deep, and quickly and you want to fish it a lot faster and you're fishing for bigger bass that's the hook that i would use the ultra lock again is a fine gauge hook it has a bigger hook keeper on it basically a longer shank to prevent the bass from pulling it off so when you're fishing and there's a lot of bass around that is the hook that you would use for it um, and then of course the mega bite is a red color it imitates blood so they say so it just gives a little bit more dynamics to the color of your actual lure um, and again it's got the standard hook keeper on it it works well and it is sharp it is a very light gauge hook um, so it gives it a more natural sinking uh, look to the actual um, uh, reaction that we're going to be using on our flukes and again, you get two kinds. Again, in our reaction, you get the standard soft plastic that will sink down. And of course, we have our stretch ones which float. Two different ways of fishing it. One on the surface and one below the surface. Just go through this one quickly. This one is designed to float on the surface. So you can work it on the surface. So it looks like a surface lure, a little wounded uh, fish. And it's absolutely phenomenal fished over shallow water over lilies um, because it floats on the surface the bite is absolutely out of this world it gives you a heart attack when you see that bass engulf that uh, reaction this one is fished because it sinks it actually sinks a lot better um, it looks more natural like a wounded fish dying down i'm going to rig that one and of course they are gold um, both uh, centered. Um, this reaction is centered with garlic, so it's the fish just hold in a lot longer. I'm gonna just quickly go through how we tie it. It is so simple, guys. Whether you're using the surface one or the sinking one, we use a Siglon, uh, the Siglon um, range of uh, lines. It is not weighted, it's not a fluorocarbon, so it does not pull the lure down. That's why we use this Siglon. Okay, obviously it's clear in color. It's a lot thinner in diameter. So you can use a heavier um, Siglon if you want, if you're fishing in heavy structure and you want to just give it that same action. But it is not a fluorocarbon. It does not pull the lure down. And that's important when using weightless flukes. Okay, <clears throat> how we tie it, again, we just use either a palomar knot or a figure of eight. Doesn't make a difference. And don't forget, at the bottom of the screen, you will see a little icon there to take you to a link that will show you how to tie the palomar knot or the figure of eight knot. Okay, so figure of eight, very simple. I was supposed to use my scissors, by the way, to cut it. Not my teeth. My doctor hates me. My dentist hates me. Okay, so to tie the figure of eight, you go straight through the eye, around, 
and we just make a figure of eight. All right, come on. One, two, three times around, and back through. Lubricate, <clears throat> slide down, pull tight. There we go. Cut off the tag end. Okay. Yeah, definitely garlic scented. Okay, so there is our fluke. I'm gonna use the red hook just because it shows up a lot better behind my, my shirt and that. The white might be a problem. Okay, so what we do, we just go basically straight through it, like so until we get to the bend, and we pull it straight out. There we go. Slide it all the way along. When we get there, all we do is we just twist and lock until it gets to where the, the locking mechanism is so it doesn't get pulled off slide it into the belly and of course all the reactions uh, flukes have got little grooves in them to hold the hook in place where the bend is is where we go through so I'm just gonna go straight through it straight out the back and again all you do to make it weedless is just to push up on the plastic there we go that is a weightless rig or weightless fluke fished for bass guys and again, weightless fishing is best done in shallows. Shallow water, around reeds, next to reeds, near trees. It is most probably the simplest way of fishing. You just flick it out, and like I said before, the floating one on the surface, the sinking one, you just flick it out, give it a couple of seconds to start sinking, and then give it a little bit of a jerk on the rod. And as you jerk it, it will flick up, and sometimes it just pops out the water and goes back down. Give it a couple of seconds to just flutter down. Jerk it again, sideways, up and down, it's up to you. If you want it to go left, you just jerk the rod to the left, it'll go left. If you want it to go right, you just jerk your rod to the right. If you want it to come to the surface, just lift your rod tip and it'll come to the surface. It is a very simple way of fishing. And the bite, of course, the bass will inhale it and he generally swims off, so just keep an eye on the line. The line will tell you what's happening. If you see the line moving off to the right, set the hook, the bass will be there. Guys, don't forget, everything that you see here, <coughs> the siglon, the mustard scissors, everything, everything you see here is available from all leading tackle stores nationwide. And don't forget, our Kingfisher branches will have everything in stock as well. Guys, enjoy it. Go out there and have a lot of fun.